today's video, I'll be sharing the gameplay of Subnautica and some of the stuff that I learned to make things more efficient, especially if you're new to the game. Note that I haven't been playing this game for a very long time, but if I were to play this game again, here are some of the things that I'll definitely do to make things easier. Firstly, we need to satisfy our basic needs like food and water. At the start, you want to look for bladderfish as your main source of water and any other fish for food. You can cook them or prepare them with the fabricator at your pod. To be more efficient, you need to start listing down which fish acts as a good food source. Knowing which fish to focus on will help you save time and effort since fishing can be very time consuming. One of the common fishes that is a good food source is the peeper. There are better fishes out there but because they are slightly rarer, you might want to get an alien containment so that you can breed them instead of just catching them. Once you have a knife, you can get the tube coral by hitting them and combining it with salt to get bleach for disinfected water, which is three times better than the filtered water you get from bladderfish. Note that cooked fish will rot over time in your inventory, but uncooked fish seems to stay fresh even if you keep it in the locker. So only cook them when you need to eat them. At some point, you'll be able to build your own garden and plant your own food. You can find some of the good vegetation on islands and you should start looking for good plantation that benefits you the most. In my opinion, the marble melons and bobo tree is great because it provides a good ratio of both water and food. Since they grow really fast and it doesn't seem to be any negative effects of eating too much, you can keep both your food and water conditions at max all the time when you are at your base. But you'll still want to have some fish and disinfected water around since plants that you harvest will start to rot once it's in your inventory. This is where cured fish or salted fish is useful since they can be kept and you can bring them along if you need to travel far. Controlling and monitoring your oxygen level is probably one of the most important thing in an exploration. Having larger oxygen tank will help of course, but there are also other ways you can help better control your oxygen. When diving deep, you need to account for the time you require to get back up and make sure that you do not run out of oxygen before then. Indirectly, having faster movement speed could also manage your oxygen level better. To get better movement speed, you can use a glider. You can actually check your movement speed by pressing F1. You'll realize that in most cases, you can swim faster if you do not hold any equipment and swim with both hands. If you're lucky enough to find a brain coral, you could swim above it and gain oxygen from the bubbles it produces. This will help you save a lot of time from swimming back up to the surface and it could be used as a checkpoint. In later games, you are able to have your own small submarine like the Seamorph, but it has a depth limit of 200 meters. Any deeper and your submarine will take damage. One of the things that you can do is to park your submarine slightly above 200 meters and whenever you need, swim to the submarine to get oxygen instead of going all the way up to the surface. Make sure you have your rebreather on or your body will use more oxygen due to the pressure. Structural base can provide oxygen as long as it has power. Some of the easiest way to get power is to use a solar panel, but they are only effective close to the surface and only during the day. From what I understand, there are many ways to get power, such as using a bioreactor, thermal reactor, and nuclear reactor. Throughout the game, you'll definitely need a lot of resources, and sometimes you come across materials that you do not need right now. This is where storing them in boxes and lockers come in handy. Putting the lockers near where the material can be used can save you time, which is why I have most of my materials near my fabricator. I have my tools and ration near the entrance of my base. I store plant seeds near the garden and any rotting or unused biological materials near the bioreactor. You can also consider keeping your empty batteries or power cells for they can be recharged in the future after you have the chargers built. Finally, categorizing your things neatly will help you find them faster and it also gives you an awareness of your stocks. When swimming around looking for materials, there are a few things that you should always have with you. 
First is the scanner. Scanning broken parts from the mothership is like researching. It unlocks better equipment to make your life better. So always bring a scanner with you when you go near a crash site to look for scannable parts. It is not a bad idea to bring along a laser cutter as well since some doors can be cut open which may have useful items within it. When building your base, it would seem that the bigger it is, the weaker its integrity gets. And especially if you have a lot of glass parts like windows. If the integrity gets too low, it will start to leak and fail due to the pressure. And what you need to do is first reinforce the walls as much as you can. And once you have the integrity up again, you can start repairing the holes around your ship with a repair tool. Once that's done, it will drain the water out itself and everything will be back to normal. I'm sharing this because it kind of freaked me out when it happened to me. That is pretty much all the tips I can give considering that I am also just barely scraping the tip of the iceberg on this game. If you are wondering would I recommend this game, yes, very much. And if I have to rate this game, I would give it a nice 7.5. Although it could be a little bit scary, but I think this game is really good for young adults. It's beautiful, creative, and smart. There is an ending to this game which is when you manage to craft a rocket to fly yourself out of the planet. All in all, this game is a lot of fun but I'm looking for something a little bit more long term to sink my teeth in. With that said, I wish you guys happy gaming and stick around to see what is the next game I'll be trying out. Have a pleasant day, bye bye.